guys it's Valerie here what I want to do in this video is to share with you um, one frugal way I save myself time and money in my kitchen now you know when you buy your jars of pickles or relish or roasted peppers what do you do with your jars well when I buy mine I don't throw them out they're very useful there are some of them that are pretty big they're just about canister size I remove the labels and I use them to store all my grains now there are some of these jars that are pretty fancy they come without labels that this one I bought recently and I am definitely not throwing this bottle out but we're not so lucky to get these lovely jars with just a tag hanging on the side so sometimes you have to remove the label now how do I remove the label what I do is immerse the label in water in a bowl and then let it sit overnight most times when they sit overnight they will come off as clean as a whistle no problems but sometimes the sticky paste will still be left on your jar when you try to remove the label now what do you do to remove the sticky paste this is what I do guys I either run cold water over the area for a couple of minutes or I immerse the jar in cold water for a couple of minutes and then I will go ahead and use um, as some type of, of a scrubber such as this one along with my steel pad to scrub the glue off now one thing I have to say to you guys is never immerse this in hot or warm water never run hot or warm water on it to try to clean it because the hot water or the warm water will melt the glue and it will be just messy all over it won't come off as easily what happens when you run the cold water on it is the glue freezes and because it freezes it's easier for you to then go in and use your scrubber to scrub it off now let's get scrubbing I said if you use the hot water you're going to get a hot mess because the glue is going to melt and it's going to get gummy all over your jar so use the cold water get a scrubber pad and you can use you can even do it without um, this type of scrubber but I do because I want to make my job easier and then I have my jar to go store whatever I want in it check this out guys here I'm just showing you how much I have saved myself just by reusing my jars when I buy jarred products the next time you go to the store and you buy your glass jar products never look at your jars as something just to be tossed in the recycle bin look at it as something that you can reuse in your space to save yourself time and money and i say time and money because it means then that if you reuse the jars for your grains and your teas you won't have to go looking for a canister so there you save yourself some time and time is money thank you so much for watching and yes for subscribing I have a lot more frugal ideas that I will be sharing with you go subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell button so you can be notified of new videos now you take care and I'll see you for the next video